going to pick my daughter up from her friend's house. Finished the first few days of school. Kids are great. Kids are awesome. Uh, kicked my butt though. <laughs> I'm tired. This was a lot for me. It was, it was a really busy week. So hopefully, I was gonna say hopefully get some rest over the weekend, but that's not a possibility. With my dad's needs the way they are, at least one full day pretty much is dedicated to his maintenance and his care and going to the grocery store and his mail and his finances and all of those things. So that takes out half a day, at least. It, it pretty much takes out a day. And then tomorrow we've got a birthday party to go to. I have to pick up the gift. So after I pick her up at her friend's house, maybe we'll just go straight to Target because I did the drive up order thing and we'll pick up the gift. Because that would make my life easier. I should have done that on the way home before I went to get her but I was starving and I came home and ate. And then I just sat around for 20 minutes because 20 minutes wasn't long enough to actually get to Target and get my, my pickup order and I just didn't want to rush it and I don't want to inconvenience her parents, the, her friend's parents, obviously. So I'm gonna have to figure this out. If she throws a little sass fit because that has kind of been a thing recently, must be the nine-year-olds, then I guess I'll just go tomorrow after I swim. The birthday party is early, so, oh, we have like a little traffic jam going on here. Well, this is different. Where are you going, buddy? I don't know where that person is going. I can't see around these people to, oh, that person's gonna cut through a traffic light. Or that person's gonna cut through. I can't see. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I made it. They're not going anywhere anyway, so. <sighs> well, that was interesting. I have to work on my eating. Ever since San Diego, I have been eating so badly and I just need to get that under control because when you don't eat right, when you overeat, I feel like you get sluggish, you get tired, and then I'm busy on top of it. So I just need to calm down. This morning, I was not, not really feeling that number on the scale. It's still late, it's fine, it's fine. But, you know, it, it was a wake up call to, to calm it down. Just calm down a little bit, calm down. confident in the school year because I like the kids but I haven't had a year where I didn't like the kids since probably like 2015 <laughs> so it's been a while and that was only literally one kid one kid that I didn't really get along with anyway pick her up hopefully go get Target and then we'll go from there we'll see we'll see what the evening holds because we still haven't gotten a washing machine yet that is on our list of things to do as well. agenda for tomorrow just like 
change up the journal. I don't know what I want to change the journal to. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite fictional character? The objective remains the same, and there we go. All right, we're just gonna keep that, because I, the washer comes tomorrow. I'm so happy for the washer. I need that washer so badly. The bag of the day is Louis Vuitton Neverfull, because I carried my lunch in here. I think I'm just gonna have a salad for dinner. I have some salads at home, and I think I'm just gonna have a salad for dinner. It is 10 minutes till I get out of here. I mean, technically, I could sneak out a little earlier, but no. Nope, I can't do it. So I've got 10 minutes until I can get out of here. I can pack up my stuff, though. And, like, my stuff. And close my drawer and everything. I'm just, the kids are great. The kids are great. Everything's great. I'm just not, like, back in the swing of things. And, you know... Then my dad emails me and he tells me how bored he is and I'm like, I can't entertain you. There's just no way. So that's where we are with that. Just thought I'd share. It's a little check-in. That's what's going on here. I just want you to look at that temperature. It is 106. It's 106. That's crazy. I got to the end of this video and I'm like, oh my gosh, I like don't even have I don't even have it. That's the, that's our doorbell, by the way. It just, my daughter and my husband are both outside. So it's just going to go off. That's what it does. It just goes off. I love the kids this year. I think they're awesome. I've been reading their autobiographical narratives and I am so impressed with them. They've got strength and good families and they've got wise things to say, things they've learned. I just, I'm very impressed with them. It's, it's been a week, but you know, it, I'm, I'm very impressed with them at the moment. I have high hopes for this year. I just, uh, I'm watching my dad on the decline. It's bad. I realized uh, probably a few weeks ago, just watching him kind of navigate his way around the kitchen and stuff, just how bad it is. And I can't get him to get anyone to come in there and help. So. I know I should probably I have no time alone like I have no time to film stuff I have no time even you know in years past my conference period I've been able to hop on and film things I definitely feel overwhelmed at the beginning of the school year there's been a lot of things that require my attention tech wise and so I just don't have time to do anything I just don't have time to do anything and so uh, happy with the kids Overwhelmed at the start of school, I feel like I'm so busy. I just feel so busy and almost like I'm drowning. Just even this weekend, my daughter had a slumber party the other night. Well, not a slumber party, but she had a friend sleepover. And then the next day we had things to do. And then today she's been asking, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? And I'm like, I need time to just decompress and stop. And then every single day this week, we have something after school. Every day. Every single day. It's not like I have a meeting to, I have two meetings tomorrow after school because it's Sunday. I have two meetings tomorrow after school. I don't know how I'm going to manage that. I think one's on Zoom and one's in person. So I'll just try to like, I don't know. Uh, and then the next day we have soccer practice. And the day after that, I have a giant dumpster coming for a house clean out and then the day after that is oh it's open house at my daughter's school and then she's having a slumber party again on friday so i have to clean the house and make sure it's all ready to go plus i have to gotta take my dad to the store he's got eye appointments i don't know if i've mentioned this before but my dad is going blind slowly he's got dry macular degeneration and it was sort of and he's got some kind of a I think he has something else behind his eye, kind of like what I had behind my eye, except whereas mine was 
nothing. His is actually something and it's growing. That might be the macular degeneration. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but he is going blind at this point next year. If the thing behind his eyeball continues to grow at the same speed that it's grown in the past six months, he will be blind at least in one eye completely. So there's that. It's crazy. And I just went into the cat's room and the cat has diarrhea all over. <laughs> like, ah! All right. So that's where we are. That's why the vlog is a little lacking this time. Uh, yeah, there's just, there's a lot going on. Uh, so I, I'm just trying to kind of hold it all together. It was nice to have the little getaway. That was actually a few weeks ago. I took footage from a few weeks ago and I threw it in this week's vlog because why not? Like, I'm just, you know, I'm a, I'm a little late. I'm a little behind here. It's okay though. Uh, it's fine as long as it gets out there. I'm retiring, putting this out there. I'm retiring my aloe belt bag. She's looking kind of dirty. She's, we got a new washer. Did you see the new washer? The new washer is awesome. But she is, she's seen some things. She is going away. It's now the end of summer. She's retiring. I have, I'm getting a new iPhone. We all know that, right? So I'm waiting for a new iPhone. But as far as accessories go right now, I'm using the mini pochette. I'm still using the same one that I used all summer. I've got good memories with her. I'm just going to keep it. And my wallet of choice right now is this little key clay that I got last year for my birthday. Birthday's coming up. I'm going closer and closer to 50 here. I will be 48 this year. And I got the washer for my birthday. We're just putting that out there. There'll be no big birthday celebration. Uh, we got the washer. Our washer died and I got the washer for my birthday. It's a wonderful washer, so I'm definitely not complaining. I'm just saying these are the kinds of gifts you get when you're approaching 50. All things considered, for my age, I think I'm doing fairly well. Uh, I, the, the biggest thing that I, I struggle with, uh, knock on wood, medically, is continually the migraines. Um, I suffer from really bad migraines. It's one of the reasons I gave up alcohol completely. It, they can be quite devastating in my case. I am on prescription medication and I take that and it, if I take it in time, it's fine. If I don't take it in time, you're looking at me being out for like two to three days. It's terrible. It just knocks me out. I can go to the ER and get a shot sometimes. Anyway, it's just a whole thing. It's a whole thing. And people have Botox and acupuncture and all of these things. Uh, this is just, this is the way it is. This is, I have medicine. It does work. It does knock me out. But every now, and it's gotten better, but they are triggered by stress. And so I don't, I'm just kind of rambling now because... <laughs> Just need to know where I'm coming from. Uh, the, over the past, I would say last year, they were definitely better. I don't think that there was a time when I was out, but you know, when my mom was passing, there were, I, you know, I ended up in the hospital because it, it just it literally knocked me out. And so I feel overwhelmed, but I feel manageably overwhelmed. I feel, I'm not gonna lie, I feel that my face has improved. I feel that I'm reading my Bible more. I feel that I'm doing better in that sense and that has really helped me. I plan, I, I write stuff down in my iPad. I use an app called Zinnia, which we will talk about at a later date, but I love planning. I like organization and um, I am looking forward to this year, but I do think it's gonna be a year of, another year of dramatic changes just with my dad's eyesight and like I said over the past two weeks watching him do things for himself I'm scared I'm really scared about the way he's maneuvering around his place uh, so that's it for this vlog I know it was like short and weird and I'm short and weird, so I feel like it's all good. I am filming right now on my DJ Osmo Pocket 2. That's the camera I tend to carry with me during 
the school year, whereas the action, I feel like it's a summer camera. So that's how I'm flipping them a little bit, but I'm firmly in the DJI market. Should I get a three? Should I get myself a three, a pocket three for my birthday? Should I get myself a birthday present? I don't, I got a washer. I don't know. I don't know. Comment down below if, I, if you think I need a pocket three. Uh, we'll see. We will see how this goes. But for right now, I'm extremely grateful for having things to be busy and being capable of taking care of those things. And for my new students, they seem like a really good group of kids. So that's it for this week. On to the next. I have no idea what next week's adventures will hold.